Deputy Secretary, Congressmen, Commissioners, Representatives, Trustees, Foundation Board Members, Fellow Presidents, Faculty, Staff, Students, Friends, Family, and Paige and Meredith. <laughs> Thank you for your greetings, well wishes, and the efforts you have made to attend today's events. But enough about me already. <laughs> Let's talk Pioneer Pride and more about the Butler County Community College. A friend of mine once said, it's not about the name on the back of the Pittsburgh Steeler uniforms. It took me 30 seconds to get that in. <laughs> it's all about the uniform. Borrowing from my friend's statement, today is not about the name in your program. It's about BC3. The word inauguration is rooted in religious ritual. Today's ritual is meant to celebrate the past, but more importantly, to emphasize the future as we forge ahead and break new ground. As anyone who knows me can attest, I understand the importance and significance of learning from history. The history of the Butler County Community College is one worth repeating. With the passage of the Community College Act of 1963, then Butler County Commissioners Green, Bachman, and McCune unanimously resolved for Butler County to become a local sponsor of the college in March of 1965. Several months later, a local county resident filed suit to block the development of the college. In October of 1965, a temporary injunction was issued to the county commissioners to halt all work on BC3. After a court hearing in January of 1966, a decision was rendered to dissolve the injunction of the county commissioners. Not only did the county commissioners stand tall during this debate, so did the board of trustees. Trustee members such as Brown, Rose, Beck, Wise, Harriger, Alstead, Urim, and others. On September 26, of 1966, 241 day students and 190 evening students enrolled at BC3 under then President Dr. James Lawson. Since that day, close to 12,000 students have graduated from BC3. More than 67,000 students have enrolled in credit classes, and over 107,000 have taken non credit classes. 85% of our alumni stay in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. 67% of our alumni, or 8,800, 8, stay in our county of Butler. The presidents before me, Lawson, Tenhove, Woodward, Price, Penner, Bartok, Azari, leave a daunting task and high standards to live up to. But it is the faculty, staff, students, trustees, and the foundation board who keep the Oak Hills humming and connect the generations as we move toward, now get this, our 50th silver anniversary. All along, this institution has arguably remained the county's finest asset. And in return, BC3 generates a 33% rate of return on government investments, returns $8.44 on every taxpayer dollar, increases students' earning potential by $117 annually for every credit completed. And our students who earn a degree have increased job satisfaction, better health, and much lower rates of dependence on social assistance. Today, you heard from three phenomenal BC3 alumni. A traditional student, a non-traditional student, and a student with a disability. Day in, day out, we touch the lives of people like Maggie, Connie, and Michael. Firefighters, nurses, teachers, physical therapists, and biologists, thousands and thousands can tell the same story. The story as we move toward the silver anniversary I referenced earlier continues to be strategically planning for the future. Such college initiatives include continued excellence in the, in the classroom, with a further emphasis on hiring more full-time faculty, a revised tenure process that includes formal mentoring, and movement toward a center for excellence in teaching that will be a resource for senior, junior, and adjunct faculty, 
Campus beautification that will emphasize a new campus quadrangle that will be anchored by a new student success center, a renovated uh, Beck Library, along with renovations to the Pioneer Cafe, existing buildings, the field house, and roadways. Campus safety initiatives that include appropriate use of technology, human resources, emergency stanchions, and proactive planning. Currency and technology with updated approaches to educational technology, labs, desktop PCs, our college website, and databases. Our strategic planning extends beyond our campus. We are proactive in dealing with revenue and funding. We respond to statewide calls for high priority occupations. We partner with county organizations like USIS to provide educational opportunities for its workers. And we collaborate with four-year institutions to ensure viable transfer options for our students. Communication is the key to moving the college along. Our first emphasis, of course, is on the various internal publics that we deal with at the college. However, our role externally as a community college is just as important. As a board member of the Butler County Chamber of Commerce, the Butler Community Health Clinic, the Community Development Corporation of Butler, a proud member of the Evening Rotary and the United Way Red Apple Award, I am proud to represent BC3. I am equally proud of the fact that I have remained in the classroom over the years. Robert Berdahl, who is a former chancellor at Cal Berkeley, perhaps said it best. Teaching a class each year can put you in touch with your students, sustain your contact with your academic roots. It will help you maintain your perspective on your role as a president. To the students of my Communication 230 class, and I know there are a few of them here, Introduction to Public Relations, thank you very much. You have no idea what it means to me to address you as your professor each Wednesday from 3.30 to 6.15. God willing, I will continue in such a role during all my time at this institution. Such experience in the classroom has allowed me to stay in touch with today's students. Undoubtedly, today's students are different than those before them. And this is especially something I've noticed since beginning teaching in 1993. But change is not all bad. Today's student thinks differently than those before them. Active rather than passive learners, I suggest we embrace this net generation instead of fighting it. Allow these students to demonstrate creativity, embrace the benefits of technology, and follow them on their process-oriented journeys all the while by maintaining the integrity of instruction, learning outcomes, and competencies. And that's the beauty of teaching, the ever-evolving methodologies that we bring to the classroom. As a student-centered institution, we will continue to base decisions on what is best for our students. Our responsibility is to shape the lives of our students. As president, every decision I make will be what I deem as best for the college and ultimately our students. From the Oak Hill to Cranberry Township, to Union Township, Hermitage, the state of Pennsylvania, and beyond. My charge is to lead BC3 to continued excellence as a force in higher education. Rituals seem far and few in between these days, but I believe we made the most of this three-day campus celebration. A great number of people helped prepare for these events, and I'd like to acknowledge them. To the inauguration committee, your commitment, dedication, to making BC3 the best it can be is unmatched. Thank you. To the students who partic uh, participated in the now infamous party with the president, <laughs> and by accounts there were about 600 of them, to the faculty who participated in the, uh, to the students and faculty, in fact, who participated in the art show, the poetry readings, the monologues, for the hospitality management students uh, who made the hors d'oeuvres for that event, thank you. A sincere appreciation to the state and our county for making yesterday's groundbreaking for the Student Success Center possible. My sincerest gratitude to the delegates, friends of the college, and personal friends for traveling and joining us today at BC3. But before I accept this invitation, I would be remiss if I did not draw attention to our symbol, the Butler County Community College seal and its significance to me. It represents the diversity of this county, a history in steel, oil, and agriculture serving as key underpinnings in making higher education possible for its citizens. 
You see, I come from steel workers, farmers, and coal miners. New Powers, Nativios, Martucci's, Kibblebecks, and now Humphreys and Rooks. I stand before you as the college's eighth president as a result of these hardworking people. To my family, thank you from the bottom of my heart. To my mom, dad, late grandparents, late great grandparents, your sacrifices seem to have paid off. My mother and father can attest to the fact that I've always been an individual who's been committed to creating goals and then carrying them out. I remember the day as if it were yesterday. It was a cold, snowy evening at Clarion University's Memorial Stadium, and I was jogging on the track with a young lady by the name of Tamitha Humphreys. This was back in 1993. I distinctly remember my thoughts as I trudged some 20 yards behind. (laughs) And watched her jog in perfect form. (laughs) I'm going to marry this young lady. We'll have kids together. She'll be by my side when I go to grad school, become a college professor, and someday, someday, she'll be by my side when I become a college or university president. Well... You know today is that day. (laughs) To my wife Tammy, children Paige and Meredith, you're my motivation, passion, and driving force. Thank you for sharing in this journey with me. And I'm so glad this is over. I am honored (laughs) and humbled. I am honored and humbled to accept the Butler County Community College Presidential Medallion and pledge my commitment to lead this institution. Thank you.